welcome to this episode. Uh, this episode we will be making a steering column mount and we'll also be putting the seat bars in for the seat. Obviously you have to kind of have the seat bars in so you can put the seat in and then you know where you want to hold your steering wheel. Hence why they kind of come together. Uh, then it's going to go away to have the front end all cut off as I said in a previous video. Uh, and then when it comes back then we'll start worrying about the pedal box and that but we're just trying to do what we can before it goes. There's a set date for when it goes and that's what we're going to do. So uh, let's crack on.
Well, as you can see, this is the next bit. These cable ties, they're not gonna stay. Um, we need to make a proper bracket. So the bracket's gonna go between the steering column original points uh, and the dash bar that goes across for the roll cage. Um, what we've also done is we've managed to, because we're using the same pickup points, we can keep the original adjustability in the steering column. So we set that to the middle, Dan sat in the car, got that somewhere comfortable, and then that's where we sort of, these marks have come from on the dash bar. That's what we're gonna try and get to. So there is some adjustability up and down still when we're finished. And we've also obviously still retained the tube, um, the collapsible tube steering column part. Uh, you know, heaven forbid, but if there's an accident that still will collapse, which is really critical. So that's a lot of reasons why we're using the original steering column and we're using the original mounts. If it's good enough for Subaru, it's good enough for us. So let's make the bracket. Right then, so here we are, so obviously you can see I'm sitting in it. So the steering column, all the brackets are all tacked up uh, in position and the floor mounted uh, FIA approved bracketry for the seats are all in. They are only tacked in the minute. The owner, Dan's got to come over, sit in it, make sure he's happy. If he's happy, brilliant, then this will all get fully welded in. 
Uh, and then the other thing we've got to do, obviously, is start thinking about putting the pedals in. But I felt that if we can get the steering column all welded up in position and get that, then obviously we can attack that differently. He has got some floor mounted setup, very nice setup. So that'll be the next job with this project. Um, there is a slight amount of movement in some of this. We have got one hole forward and backwards on the seat mounts. And we have also got the kept the original Subaru, uh, I don't know what you call it, the up and down to the steering column. So we've still got a little bit of adjustment in it, but there's no left and right in the steering wheel and there's no left and right in the seat. So, but to me, it feels like we're pointing straight down the road and it all feels central. So to me, it's perfect. So hopefully Dan will agree, we'll get it welded up and then we can move on to the next part. But obviously the next part of this is it's going away to have all the front end cut off and have a tubular front end and then that will let us get on with the WR1. So the next video could well be the WR1, but I haven't planned that far ahead. So it will be a bit of a surprise for both of us. So brilliant. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers. I think you have to do it, don't you? To be fair, it's sequential. So it'd be a bit like that.